Sisters of Grief five-part video series. This is video number one. Before we get started here, I'd like to light a candle for our beloved children that have passed on before us. There. Okay, so now I'd like to talk to you about, you know, after my son first passed, um, just the shock, and I'm sure you've experienced this too, just this numbness and just this just heaviness and pain, and I would just catch myself taking these deep breaths, and like three or four times an hour, sometimes more, you know, I'd be going along just fine and thinking I'm breathing fine, and then I just have to take this deep breath like I've been holding my breath for a while or something, and I just thought that was so strange, you know, um, but I, then I learned a technique on how to breathe. Um, I realized that I... I was breathing wrong, and I mean, how can you breathe wrong, right? Well, um, you know, grief sends you in these mental loops. You replay thoughts, you replay the first 24 hours, you replay the emergency or whatever brought you to the, pass, the passing of your child, and it's just so heavy. And um, so we, we, we're not taking our full breaths. And so we need to become conscious of that. So when those mental loops happen or that sadness or that heaviness, we become aware of that. Um, we need to learn how to breathe from the back of our throat. And that's like this. So when that, you know, you feel that heaviness. And you might have to do it two or three times. You might go for a while and, and do it again. I find that it just oxygenates your whole system, your whole nervous system, it calms you down, and you just, so try it, so try it over any stressful situation. Anytime sadness hits, anytime you get a phone call you don't like, anything you have to do that you're facing that's just really heavy, Anybody that you have to have to talk to and you don't really want to, but you know what needs to be done. The deep breath helps on so many, so many levels. So this was video number one. On to video number two. See you tomorrow.